Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, Larry and I are gonna be filming an updated Q&A for you guys, and you guys have been missing Larry in the vlogs. I'm oh, probably not missing, have but you, I haven't been here. Have you been seeing, you've been here. Have you been seeing those comments? We miss Larry. Oh, thank you guys. So, I have not seen those. Yeah, so we're gonna have a full-on video. Oh, full-on. With Larry by our side. Oh, I'll be right here. So we have tons of questions. I asked you guys over on Instagram to send in your questions. I have picked a ton of them. This may be a longer video. So grab your snacks, teas, coffees, water, whatever you want. So the first question is, do you guys ever watch videos back? If you do, which ones and why? I don't. I don't often either. Mm. If I do, it would be a vacation one. So mm. our Colorado one, or it'll be like Christmas time season. Yeah, I feel like trips and, oh, Halloween vlogs sometimes. Like those are the only ones, but I, it's rare. Like I don't really go back and watch. I don't no. know why, I just, I sometimes hearing myself, I'm like. Well, there's a lot of actors that don't see things that they star in. Yeah. Or at least they true. say. Yeah, they say they don't watch yeah. what they're in. But no, I don't. Any travel plans? We have some. I feel like we have a lot actually for us. Well, I feel like we did nothing. And then yeah. suddenly like this fall, like this, the rest, not fall, but the, re the remainder of the year, we have a lot of things going on. Yeah, a few. So there's how many months of the year left? Three, four? No, we're in the ninth September, month, so three. September, November, December. We have four months, four months, three all of half. September. <laughs> we argue all the time, don't we? <laughs> You're like an old married couple, aren't you? <laughs> we do have something going, we have two things in September. Two things, oh yeah, I forgot about we're the second thing. We're filming both. Yeah, we'll film both. So one is coming up very soon. One is coming up still very soon because we're already like into the second week of the month. Mm -hmm. October, we have one thing. November, we may have one thing, but it's not really planned yet. Mm -hmm. So right now we'll just say November is zero. And then December, we have a big thing. Big. So that's four. We have four things. So like one a month. Mm -hmm. We have four things coming up, guys. I'm really excited about it. Oh, yeah. Oh! Are you going to do Vlogmas this year? I really miss them. They help me get through the holidays. Oh, that's sweet. I, I am torn on doing Vlogmas. I was just telling Larry, I think I want to do it. I think I'm going to do it. And then I just get in my head sometimes and I'm like, oh, what if like every day is just not interesting enough or I'm not doing enough or I'm doing a lot. And then like you're vlogging and then you're editing <laughs> all in one day. And it can, it honestly is a lot, but I love it at the same time. You can do it. I love it so much. It is so, like, it's fun. I feel like Liam's at a really great age to do it now too, mm -hmm. to vlog with Liam. So oh, guys, I am leaning towards, yes. It's like, ah, I'm choking. I'm like, oh, I'm getting, oh, I got nervous. I got a little nervous thinking about it. Help give her a little push. Comment down below. <sighs> yeah, if you guys want me to do vlogmas, let me know in the comments below. We'll see. Put some like reindeer Christmassy emojis <laughs> in the comments below if you want me to do vlogmas. Okay. If there is enough of you in the comments that tell me you want me to do vlogmas, I will do vlogmas. You heard it here first. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, chocolate advent calendars. Liam loves chocolate, he loves dark chocolate. Mm. We should get him a dark chocolate advent calendar. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so excited to experience Christmas with him this year. I just feel like he knows, he knows Santa. We say ho, 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 yeah. he just knows. See, <laughs> See I'm gonna get Liam, emotional, oh my gosh. What does Santa say? We go ho, 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 ho. ho, ho. ho. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh. Ooh, favorite easy meals. I'd say a burger and hot dogs on the grill. You know me, Mr. Excitement. I mean, I'm Mrs. Excitement too. I, like, I'm really in my crock pot era right now. I'm looking at all the recipes. <gasps> the chicken was supposed to go in the crock pot at noon to get done in four hours. After this, I have to, I have to grab that and like see if it's thawed. Crock pot recipes. So pot roasts, that's his favorite. Mm. Today, I'm trying to do a chicken and stuffing in the crock pot. So we're gonna try that. And then of course, like tacos and chili and spaghetti, like staples in our house, easy. When is your due date? April, I'm gonna say early April. Yeah, it was 
kind of confusing last time because we were thinking it was going to be on time and it wasn't. Yeah, I feel like due dates, I don't know. I feel like they rarely happen like on the actual date. They're all different. Yeah, I mean, you could. Yeah. But early April is my due date. But with Liam, I went how many days early? Was it 13 days 13. early? Yeah. I was induced. So we'll see how this one goes. One food item that you both cannot live without. Fresh fruit. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I do like steak. Steak. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys tend to agree on baby names? I know how hard it can be. I think we really do. Yeah. I think there's some that I like that you don't. Well, there's so many of them out there and, and you get a list and you just start going down the list and there's maybe a thousand on the list and you just rattle off a name and like, no, no. Yeah, I agree. No, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Maybe. Okay, we got a maybe. And you whittle that down to like less than half and then you do the same thing again. It's like, no. Yeah. And then you kind of settle on maybe two or three and you wait because yep. maybe... Somewhere down the line, a name will pop up that you haven't heard, and you think, oh, that's, that's a good name. Mm -hmm. And then maybe that goes on the list, or maybe that goes to the top of the list. How has your symptoms been, and how far along are you? I am nine weeks currently. I will be 10 weeks on Thursday. You guys see this video on Monday. It's Sunday as we're filming, filming it, so you'll see it tomorrow. That's a lot of days. Symptoms? Here, you guess my symptoms. Mm. Or symptoms that you've heard me say, and I'll see if Larry is a wonderful husband and is listening what? <laughs> to all my complaints. Oh. I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, she gets nauseated. Okay, that's one. That's one. Not so much cramping. Not as much anymore. No, you were in the very while. beginning. Yeah. Uh, she can't eat a sit down meal, she's turned into a nibbler. Instead of having one big meal, she's got to have a lot of little stuff spread out, which is, that makes perfect sense. Basically, constantly eating. Yeah. Very emotional. Oh, yeah. She's kind of an emotional being to begin with, but... Yeah, but it's like extreme. Yeah. I think those are really it. That's about it. Nausea, constantly hungry, always eating, and emotional. And certain things that she may crave or may like... She's not so much now. Yeah, like, like no, coffee. I don't want that. I'd rather have this. Like, hmm. I think I've had coffee twice in the last, like, two weeks. Yeah, not and, much. And it's cold coffee. So it's I'll brew a cup, and then I'll set it to the side, add ice cubes to it, and then I'll blend it with my Ritual Protein Powder, and I turn it in, in half, like, no, not half, whole banana. Whole banana. Add cinnamon. I blend that all up. Like today I needed the coffee. I was like, if I'm going to survive and get things done, I need the coffee, even though I got a full night's sleep. So is it hot in here? Also mm. very hot. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay. What is your favorite thing about fall? Ooh, I always like the color changes. I miss that. Color yeah. changes in the scent. Like I swear fall when the crisp air comes in and those leaves start to fall or when it's damp, there is a scent in the air that is just magical. I love that. The color changes, the pumpkins, the snacks that come out that time of year, the bonfires, the s'mores. It's just the best time of year. Besides the magical Christmas time of year. I still miss getting my hands all blistered up raking leaves and then putting them in bags because they won't come by and suck them up with the truck and spend a ton on bags. Yeah. Well, we now have a bunch of oak trees in our yeah. yard, so we now are back to raking leaves, funny well, we enough. We raked at the other place, too. Barely. Awesome. Did we? Yeah. We did? In the backyard, we did. Mm -hmm. We... In the front. <laughs> Do you have any different symptoms this time around than your last pregnancy with Liam? I would say yes. Like, in general, I didn't have many symptoms with Liam compared to what I have now. I was not nauseous with Liam, and I wasn't as emotional with Liam. It was just a very smooth sailing pregnancy with Liam up until the end when I had to have the iron infusions and the amniotic fluid was leaking. Well, the little man took all your headaches away too. Yeah, he cured my headaches. He cleared up my acne. I was like... Not so much yet this time. Now I'm still getting monthly migraines. Explain that to me. 
I'm like, I'm not even getting a period cycle. My, mine are hormonal. Now I'm on hormones. My hormones are constantly fluctuating or going up and rising right now, obviously because of pregnancy. But I'm like, how did I not have them last time, but I'm having them this time? I don't know guys. So there's definitely a difference. Are you guys sticking with an L name for baby number two? Larry, Liam, Lexi, Luna. Hmm. Well, there is some L names in our thingy. There is. But I don't think we're going to stay with the trend. What's funny about that is... You. Is, yeah, I have always been like that odd person out in the family because my mom and dad and my brother are Jim, <laughs> Julie, and Jimmy. Okay, and then there was me. And then it's the same thing. It was Larry, Liam, Lexi, Luna, and then me. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll be an M name. Mm. Or maybe it won't match either. Well, we've got 26 chances. 26? Oh, the alphabet. <laughs> Letters in the alphabet. So, yeah, I don't know. We do have a couple of names that are M's, a couple of names that are L's, and a couple of names that are neither. So... Until we, again, I never say that we are fully decided on a name until we see that baby's face. We should come up with an X name. Xavier. I thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, X-Man. <laughs> An age gap couple over here. How do you guys cope with new friends' thoughts on your relationship? My initial reaction to that is if a new group of friends or friends have a negative reaction to your relationship. Yeah, they're... It's we, not worth it. No, we're not going to make you happy because our ages can't change. No. And we're together, so uh, if that's a, a problem for you, then I don't, I don't want to cause a problem. Just don't associate no. anymore. I feel like it's just life is too short. You want to be with company that you enjoy and that enjoy you and you guys have a great time and there's just no sense in surrounding yourself. Our, you know, your time is valuable. So there's no sense in putting yourself in a situation with people that do not agree with your relationship or you have friends that think it's weird. Like they can and that's okay. They can think whatever they want. But yeah, I just, I wouldn't waste my time and. Yeah, help me understand why somebody that had a problem with our age gap would want to be friends with us because yeah. it would annoy them or it would cause them issues and it just don't don't uh, put your energy into that yeah not worth it are you going to convert the guest room for the baby or do you have another room already yes we plan to convert the guest bedroom to yeah. the baby's room but baby will obviously be with us for the first several months um right next to my side of the bed because mm -hmm. you know feedings and all of that so but then the plan is to yes convert that room to baby number two's bedroom which i was thinking the other day made me highly regret not getting a couch that has a pull out bed and those are very hard to find mm -hmm. these days we had the hardest time finding one we do have a blow up mattress and it's a nice one but and you know what when i look back to the home that I grew up in. We had a three bedroom house. So my brother had his room, I had a room and my parents were in their room. And when we had guests come over, obviously not right now because both kids are having like cribs or toddler beds, but once they convert into like a twin bed or you know, a full size bed, um, we would always give up our beds for the adults who were staying at the house. And then all the kids and the cousins, we would all have like a sleepover in the living room is what we would do. So that's pretty much, kind of the vibe and we don't want to put a, a newborn like right next to liam now that he's sleeping through the night yeah you know because then we have two little ones a really little one and, and a little one that are now both going to be squawking <laughs> so yeah. if we can put a little bit of distance between that i said little almost as many times as you did yeah you did um, little yeah. little Ooh. that's I that's the like, plan now didn't we move liam out and at six months I bawled my eyes out that she first did. night. I cried and cried and she cried. She was stressed. I really was. But he slept so much better that mm -hmm. first night in his own big crib than he did in his little, <laughs> little, um, <laughs> little cot bassinet. His... Oh my gosh. Another little newborn baby in a bassinet. 
cannot. When having a bad day, what's your go-to to cheer yourself up? Book. Book. I would say the same. Book, movie, relax. Like sometimes I am just done for the day. <laughs> like if I a nap, like if I have just set myself up or it's a bad day or something bad happens, it's just let's put on a movie, cuddle on the couch, have some snacks and be as relaxed as possible. I would say go for a walk because usually yes, but like it's so hot and the mosquitoes right now. So I can't, I can't wait for our weather to break so we can start doing our daily walks again. Mm -hmm. I just am so excited for that. What was that? I don't know. That was a ghost. <laughs> if you don't mind answering, does Liam have any traits that resemble you or Larry? He mm -hmm. has my dark circles and he has my face shape. Mm -hmm. He has your color tone, your mm -hmm. eye color. Yeah, he's got my eyes. His personality is, I don't know if he is like a combination of us. I'd say he he probably is funny. Is. When he gets to know you, he's, he's a pretty funny little guy. He is But there's hilarious. that kind of a shy, and it's true with anybody, but. Yeah, shy guy, he'll hide behind yeah. mommy's butt. He is just, he is hilarious. He is very fast paced too. He is an on the go kind of kid. He, he gravitates towards books one week and towards uh, his cars and trucks that he plays with the next week. And he seems to go back and forth, which is... Always loves Owl. Yeah. I would say, too, he's a sleepy guy. Like, he, he plays hard and gets tired quick. I would say he gets the sleepy from me. He also likes to sleep in his own bed. Mm. He does not like to nap in the car seat. Mm -hmm. He does not like to nap like on the floor. You know, it is, he is like all about his bed. So, which is great. And you know, he's really tired when you say, do you want to go to bed? And he'll go, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he'll tell us no. I'm like, you want to go to bed? No, nope. no. And I'll shake his head. I'm like, okay. But like looks wise, I do think he's, a mix, but he has like, it's weird. He has my face shape, but your feature, like your, not your features, but your colorings mm. is how I would describe that. However, when they were infants, like when, when Liam was a baby, an infant and picture the video of you, they were identical mm -hmm. to the point that, <laughs> It was my mom. Your mom. My mom was like, who's holding Liam on the TV screen? And it was Larry as a baby and his grandmother was holding him. Mm -hmm. It was like a home video. And I was like, that's insane, like how much they look alike. But as Liam's gotten older, he's kind of shifted and morphed into like an in-between the two of us. Ooh, your go-to snack for a cozy night in. Oh, I just love baking cookies in the oven. Like the Pillsbury cookies, simple cookies, popcorn. Mm -hmm. Sometimes my snack plates will consist of like cheese and fresh fruits and a pickle. Those are like my, 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 all, the whole mix. How about you? You like those popcorn things. Yeah, if we get really crazy, we'll get a bowl and we'll put some pretzels, potato chips, and Cheetos cheese that goes crunch. <laughs> mix it all up. In the bowl, up. mix it all up. This time of year, you can even add some candy corn in there. Ooh. You're going to get the candy corn haters hating. I know. Are you open to having actual friendships with any of your followers or viewers? Absolutely. In fact, I have exchanged numbers and have met up with a few viewers. And I think that you guys are the sweetest in the world. And it's so nice to like meet you guys out in real life. See, that's how it happens. Like when we run into you guys and meet you out in real life and we connect and then we like talk for a couple of minutes or it's just wonderful i love it so much so. yeah there was that great family in ohio that we yep. were able to see at universal mm -hmm. there's a couple from georgia that we saw from universal i feel like every almost every connection that we have that's like a bigger one is always at universal mm -hmm. we have like quick interactions locally like at the grocery store target and things like that that are like super quick but i feel like the longer interactions are always at universal so but yeah I love becoming friends with you guys and chit-chatting and getting to know you and meeting you in real life. It's always so much fun, especially when like I read comments from you guys and then I know your names and we go back and forth and then to run into you guys unexpectedly in real life. That is amazing. That's what happened with Marissa mm -hmm. at Universal last time because I have talked to her for years online and then she was like, it's me 
it's Marissa. I was like, oh my gosh, Marissa. And like, I put it together and I was like, holy crap. And it was the best thing ever. We exchanged numbers and like, yeah, it was great. It was a great experience. So how often does little man nap? Will babies share a room? So plans are opposite rooms, as we said. And then he has one nap a day and he usually naps anywhere from like 11 to one. Today he went down at noon, so it'll be like noon to two, noon to three. Like his range is usually a two to three hour nap. Ooh, when are you planning on full blown decorating for Halloween? Ooh. I'm thinking October 1st. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Yeah. We have some fun things planned for that. My neck is killing me from looking at you. Well, don't look at me then. It hurt. Why am I getting in a light neck? I can't look that way anymore. How do you think Liam will react to his new brother or sister once they're here? I think he'll be fine. I do too. He loves babies and he loves hugs and he loves cuddling. Like he is so sensitive and sweet and he'll come up to us and give us hugs. And he right now he's into this like cute sometimes. Aww. Aww. But like this kissing phase, his kiss is a little aggressive. He'll like grab both sides of my face and like smash his face into my face. And that's his like, his kiss. It is the funniest thing. Um, really cute. But he loves babies. He loves baby animals and babies. And he points them out, baby, Oh, So I think he will adjust well. Of course we know there's gonna be an adjustment period. I just want to make sure that his schedule remains like, you know, kind of the same and that I'm being very, very present. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm gonna be primarily the one that's waking up with newborn because you're gonna pri be primarily like with Liam, but I don't wanna not be still available for Liam. Like, I don't want that to happen. <sighs> Cause I don't want him to notice or like miss me. I don't know, how like, you guys, when you transitioned from being um, one to two, let me know how that trans transition went. I'm just hoping it's a smooth transition. I'll let you guys know, of course, how it's all going. And we both still want to give each little one the same amount of attention. Yes. When possible. Yes. And some people are already saying, good luck with that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you're absolutely right. I know, the ones that have been through it, because, yeah. yeah. What brings Liam the most joy right now? It's a good question. Swings. He loves to swing. He loves to swing. He will not get off the swing. <laughs> he loves the swing. Owl. We know right. Owl. He's loving Polar Express. He likes Polar Express. Dinosaur Train. He still likes Dinosaur Train. He loves Lexi Kitty. Yeah. Jumping. His new favorite thing is to jump. He loves to jump. What else? Dance. Oh, yes. Dancing loves dancing to music he loves our record player the good thing is is it has like bluetooth so i can connect my phone to it too and we can play all sorts of music i just think music and dancing and i think those yeah. are like his favorite things right now his nana and grandpa of course lassie he always says no 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 lassie lassie barks <laughs> he's funny when he says no 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 because he shakes his shakes his no, hands no 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 he came around a corner the other day and i scared him and he he started like one foot was anchored to the floor, but he was going around in a circle, taking hops with the other foot, and he was going, no, 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 Oh my gosh, that's funny. How do you come up with your merchandise designs? Honestly, every year, I just get this vision in my head, right? And I'm like, this sounds really cool. Like, this is the vibe I'm going for this year. And I'll like, talk to Larry about it, and I'll draw it out. Sometimes I suck at drawing. I am not a good drawer. Sometimes Larry will like help me draw it out. And then what happens next from there is we contact Bonfire, who is the person that we always go through or the company that we always go through to make the merchandise and distribute the merchandise. So we'll send them our <laughs> horrible <laughs> sketch drawing. And then but they a always brilliant, get the idea. They do. They always get our idea. And then the brilliant artist will then send like the professional mock-up is what they're called to us. And then I'll review it, make changes to it. Like in this design, the cat was really big. So we shrunk down the cat. The pumpkins had a ton of black at the bottom of them. So we removed the black so that it wasn't such a dark design. 
um, the stars originally were just at random. And I was like, how about we do like clusters of three? So like you go back and forth with the company until you both are like happy with the design. And they're great with working with you with yeah. that. They don't get upset about, no. you know, well, our drawing is better than the crap you sent us. Well, yeah. Which is true. <laughs> Cause I have a vision but they make the vision like come to life. Mm -hmm. If you guys saw my little bird sketches with my little stars and my little owl and all the things, you'd be like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> but the professionals put the vision to life and make it look really cool. So that's kind of how it is. I just feel like every year this new design kind of comes to my brain. Will this be your guys' last baby? Mm -hmm. I think yes. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is this is because I had mentioned in the last video that it was my last time going up to the fertility clinic. And yes, I think we're just so at peace with two. Mm -hmm. um, and that was kind of the original plan too. Yeah, we always wanted two. Uh, grateful to have one. Mm -hmm. um, two was definitely hard to get to, but we got there. Yeah. And of course we're not out of the woods yet. I just feel like you're never out of the woods until that baby is in your arms. And even then, even then you're like always staring at the baby to make sure baby is still breathing. And it's just, mm. it's just a wild ride, but. It's like people get upset when kids make noise. Now when they're making noise, you know where they're at. You know what yeah. they're, they're fine. They're making noise. This is our last, my last pregnancy, my last first trimester, my last time going to that IVF clinic. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is it. This is, this is, this is it. Of course you never really know what could happen in life, but like, this is definitely the plans like last, like there's this, there's no, I just, I don't see it. This is it. This is it. Don't be scared now. Don't get scared now. <laughs> What's that from? This is it. Don't be scared now. Home Alone. That's right. It's from Home Alone. I love Home Alone. I was just saying, we have lost our Home Alone 2 CD disc. Blu-ray, whatever they're called these days. Every Christmas we lose Christmas movies. I don't understand how it happened. I don't know. If expenses didn't matter to you guys, where would your dream vacation destination be? London. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Go ahead, please don't. Oh, Lord, have mercy on our souls. Everybody, crucify Mindy. She's in trouble now. Um, yes, let's go back to London. Let's take Larry and Liam to London. <laughs> they, they really did crucify me oh for that. yeah they were in big trouble i was in big, big trouble for trouble. going without big you trouble. um but <laughs> i say hawaii oh yeah london too of course because i i went selfishly well i've been to hawaii you haven't been there how dare you i know Oh my God, crucify. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, I think Hawaii and back to London. Mm. I do want to do Scotland again too. You would love Scotland. It's so up your alley. I love how we both have just propped our feet up. Yeah. Feets? Feet? I feel like we need to bring you guys a little bit closer Foots. then because I just closer. did that. So I'd I still like to go to Dallas. One year, yeah. One year though, I like mapped out the Hawaii vacation and I think the flights alone were like six grand and I was like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. well, maybe not. Mm. <laughs> So, if we could kayaks, we could do that. Kayak to, to Hawaii? Hawaii? Yeah. No, we'd be eaten by a shark before we got there for sure, oh, getting yeah. stuck in a freaking hurricane, especially this time of year. Larry, what made you retire? Uh, mostly because I had enough time in that I could retire, and the other half of that would be because of the climate that I had to work in. I don't like cold. Snowy. Don't no. like snow. Don't Our like ice. Battery's about to die. Ooh. Have you visited Disneyland in California? I have. I have not. Any pregnancy cravings, symptoms, anything that actually helps with nausea? We've talked about symptoms. Pregnancy cravings, I would say fresh fruit and then like juice, fruit juices. Anything that actually helps with nausea, honestly, eating frequently. Eating all the time. If I go too long without eating, I'm going to get super nauseous and then I'm going to start gagging and it's a whole thing. So you have to like eat constantly because if you wait, too long it's like you're so hungry that food actually is making you gag too so eat more frequently that's the only thing that really helps me i still have the same diet yeah yes you do i'm gonna change this battery because i don't want to be in the middle of a question and us talking and then it just like kicks us off hold on let me change the battery did a little water break how do you guys divide household tasks mm. 
Honestly, Larry, you do all the outside. Let's be honest. Larry does the yeah. pool. He does the lawn maintenance, cutting the grass, pulling the weeds. If I'm feeling frisky, I'll go pull some weeds in the spring. I'll plant flowers. I'm a planter if we plant. Um, inside, I do a lot and then like, I'll ask Larry if he can help me with, you know, folding the laundry or babe, can you help me unload the dishwasher? Babe, can you help me with the dishes? Like Larry is wonderful. I just ask and he helps me. He's great. I give it a whirl. Like the other day, a lot of people in the vlog, there was a vlog where I was, I wasn't feeling well. I was doing the dishes. I was putting stuff away and doing things and they didn't see you. So they assumed that you just didn't help me. Mm. But little did they know you were in the guest bed bathroom taking those shower doors off oh, yeah. slicing the rail thing off the wall and pulling that off of the wall so i could appropriately and effectively bathe liam and baby number two in that shower because i couldn't access anything and i was busting my elbow into the rail it was very closed off it was dingy and it was dark larry is phenomenal like he'll do fixing of the toilets fixing of the shower doors i wouldn't have known how to do that Larry is wonderful. He's a great husband. He's very helpful. And if I am sick, he'll be like, go lay down, take a nap. I'll watch Liam. Like he's fabulous. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Will you tell your children the journey you both took to get them here? Yeah, I think it's an amazing journey. And when they have questions or if they have questions and they ask, then heck yeah, I think so. I mean, it's already out on the internet too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's an inspiring journey and a journey that should be shared. Do you guys have any Halloween costume ideas? I feel like that's always a challenge here. Well, I have one that I bought two years ago and I still haven't worn it. Because it's terrifying. Oh, it's not. It's no worse than any other one I've had. Look, I have turned into that mom that is like veering away from terrifying because I don't want to terrify our two-year-old. <laughs> Some people will say this is terrifying. No. So, yeah. Your daddy. So he sees that face and he doesn't find that terrifying. He finds that loving and handsome and you were well, daddy. He's used to it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't want gory. But the reason I, I find that it's difficult is because of the weather here. Like it can be really warm and a lot of costumes are like these puffy warm costumes and it's like these kids are gonna like sweat out i i feel like i don't even think of myself anymore when it comes to the costume i'm like all about planning liam's costume i don't know we have to put we have to think about that we have well, to, I've also had some pretty scary going. costumes yeah you have we yeah. used to do so cool things we would all dress up we would pick out our costumes i gotta do better this is the year that we are gonna dress up we're gonna get liam dressed up yeah, we had the house in a neighborhood on Halloween that everybody wanted to go to. Yeah. So, probably not so much here. It's but much more quieter and low-key yeah. here. But. Like, everybody knows everybody. <laughs> we, we made it fun at the, the other neighborhood. Yeah, it was like, it. Was, we had that neighborhood before, though, where, like, kids from, like, far away or, like, from the country would come in, like, wagons, <laughs> like, huge wagons of, like, 30 people packed in, and they would drop all the kids off in our development and run through. Like, we had that development. It was chaos. I mean, $500 worth of candy would go out on Halloween night at our house. They go. It was, it was nuts. Um, so, this, the, very different here. <laughs> We get zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, either I'm gonna have to have a talk with all the neighbors and we're gonna have to like do something cute. We know all our neighbors, by the way. Like everybody knows everybody. We're all very like close knit, which is so, so nice. Yeah, we were at the other we place were, too though. We weren't even here. Well, we were here, what, four or five months. And we had neighbors coming over to uh, hook Liam up on Halloween. Yeah, we had a neighbor bring over a Halloween basket for Liam, so did they. Yeah. Yeah, we, so we had people come over, but like, I want, so either we're gonna have to go to Bush Gardens <laughs> or like something like that and do like a thing. In Cleveland, Ohio, they had Boo at the Zoo and you could like do things like that. So I don't know if we're gonna have to find a place to take him trick or treating or if, like sweet talk a couple of the neighbors and Liam will be like the only little guy on the street. But I know he's not the only little one in here because we see them all in the strollers going by. Yeah. So it's like, just does nobody do it here? Or I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> sweet talk the neighbors. Hey, get some candy. I'm bringing my kid. <laughs> I got a rock. <laughs> That's funny. I give him a rock and an apple and a stick of celery. 
How do you feel about your brother getting engaged? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, first of all, if you've missed it, the, some of you might've just fallen off your rocker. Mm. If you guys missed it over on Instagram, my brother announced his engagement to Luana, which is really exciting. So we're excited because, I mean, she's basically my best friend's sister anyway. She's the one I went to London with. Um, so she's like a sister. You went to London? Yeah. Okay. She's already a sister to me and we have so much fun. Like we hang out weekly. We do like shopping and girl talks and going out to dinner and stuff like that. So she's already part of the family. So I think it's a great fit. She loves Liam. She's so excited about this baby, baby number two. So we're excited to go dress shopping for the wedding. It's just going to be great. It's it'll, cute. It'll be great. It's going to be great. Larry's like, yeah, dress shopping. <laughs> If you could give your 20 year old self advice, what would it be? You go first, babe. Oh, pay more attention and work harder. Yeah, that's good. Mine would be, it's not over, it's not the end, it's not final. You have so much time left and what's going on in your life right in that moment. If it's bad or you're not where you thought you would be or you feel lost, like I promise you will make it through that and you will get out of that. And cause that was me. I just felt like I didn't know what I wanted to do. I felt lost. I was like, oh, I just, I don't know who I am. Like, I just felt like that kind of person and it all ended up being okay in the end. Do you know what I mean? So, um, give yourself grace. You don't have to know everything and what you're doing and have your life be final at 20. Like it's just the beginning. You're just finding yourself out. I mean, I just saw on a post the other day that your brain isn't fully developed until 25. Like, don't come at me if that's wrong. But I just saw that in a post. And I'm like, that's amazing. And that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, there's definitely things that I would do differently. But in saying that, I wouldn't be where I am today if I did do things differently. Like, I am where I am because of where I was. That's a powerful thing. Are you all potty training yet? My daughter is two and is showing zero interest. I get it. I get it. So we haven't started. Well, we kind of, we have mildly started. I have bought the toilet and we sit on the potty, but I haven't like fully gone into it because I feel like it's me. There's always something that has happened. So I was going to start and then we got COVID and RSV in the household and then we stopped. And then I was doing IVF and having an embryo transfer and I didn't want to lift and do all these things. So I was on like a two week thing and then Jackie came and then I didn't want to do it then <laughs> because we were going to be going out and about. I just feel like there was always something. So then we have a trip coming up. So I'm waiting till after that and then we are starting. So Liam is showing interest every time I go to the potty. I use the restroom. Liam comes with me and he'll sit on his toilet. And where things have advanced <laughs> is he wipes. Like he'll take his hand and he'll wipe his front or he'll wipe his back <laughs> when I wipe. <laughs> so he's like mimicking the motion and he knows. So I am planning to do the no pants approach and then go into wearing like sweatpants or just shorts around the house with no underwear, like after a few days with no underwear and work through that. But I want it to be at a time where there's no disruptions. Like we're not leaving the house. I want it to be on like a, a long weekend where we're all at home and there's nothing going on. So that's my plan. And it is happening very soon, like within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna go for it. And Jackie was kind enough to gift him with a how to go to potty wristwatch. Yes, it's so, so we cute. Have that. Yeah, we have that to put on Liam, so we'll see. How do you help your little one through tantrums? First time mama here and could definitely use tips. So every child is different. I feel like everybody, well, I say that like when Liam's having like that full on tantrum, I just get down on his level, I get on the floor and I just, I ask him if he needs a hug, do you want a hug? And I'll try to hug him and hold him. Sometimes he does not want to be hugged. He does not want to be held and supporting him. Like I just try to support him in any way. If we're having a tantrum out in a public place, I want to pick him up and take him to an area that is quieter, low key, not so crowded. And again, get down on his level and just hold him and talk to him and rub his back and try to calm him and relax him as much as possible. That's what I do. Yeah. That's what you Sometimes he'll want to throw himself down on his knees and and um, get on the ground, lay on the ground. And you don't want him getting hurt. So 
again, you just make sure that you know, you're not, don't control them, don't pin them down, don't, you know, let them have room to wiggle. Yeah. But at the same time, just talk to them and just try and get them to calm down. Yeah. yeah, if he is laying on the floor and he doesn't want to be held, like I'll try to lay down next to him and I'll rub his head and I'll just go, shh, 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 shh. it's okay, buddy, it's okay. And I just try to talk super soft. That way he has to work harder to listen. Sometimes, of course, they're just gonna. <laughs> yeah, they're out there. They're gonna do their toddler thing, but and usually, just try to remain calm. Usually they'll, they'll sometimes. wear themselves down and come down themselves without really you needing to do anything. Yeah. And then the last question, which was the most popular question, was, are you guys planning to do a gender reveal Ooh. for baby number two? We did one for Liam. We did do one for Liam. And yes, we do plan to do a gender reveal for baby number two. We're going to do a gender reveal for baby number two. I just don't know what. <laughs> what are we going to do? I don't know. And that is stressing me out. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Hmm. I have a couple ideas in my head on what I want to do. I just need to figure it out. Hmm. When do people usually find out the gender of their babies? Oh, let me ask Siri. She'll give us the tea. Sometimes not the truth. Hey Siri, when do you find out the gender of your baby? The gender of a baby can be found out between weeks 18 to 20 of pregnancy via ultrasound. Week this 18 to 20? Doesn't that seem late? 18 to 20? Is that right guys? 18 weeks pregnant to 20 weeks pregnant? Hmm. Well, I thought it was like 12 weeks. We've gone from a sesame seed to... Poppy seed. Poppy seed. To a green olive. A green olive. Ooh. And that's in 10 weeks? Yeah. Well, no. Four weeks was the poppy seed. I'm nine weeks now. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in five weeks, baby went from poppy seed to an olive. Yeah. Bigger than a raspberry olive raspberry was last week olive is this week i wonder what week, 10 weeks is going to be because i'm closing in on 10 weeks yeah and we, we saw the picture and it was like that is so wild to me that the six week scan baby looks like a grain of rice and that eight week scan which i was one day shy of being nine weeks looked like an actual baby mm -hmm. that is insane to me how well, in can, two and a half weeks i think 18 weeks is reasonable they are gonna come for me and i get it hmm I was thinking in a couple of weeks. We could do it in a couple of weeks. You want to do it in a couple of weeks? Yeah, but I need to be certain about what I want to do because this is going to be the last one forever. This is going to be the last gender reveal ever. Forever. So I'm kind of like, do I want to do the same thing that we did last time? Do we want to do it no, differently? No, we want to do it different. There's the people that bake the cake and then you stick the glass through it and you each pull away until you reveal the color. Mm. There's fog, colored fog. Well, there's a lot of wrong ways to do them too. Go the check balloons, the no, yeah, yeah no so. balloons. Um, we did the poppers, the exploding, like confetti. There's confetti. Hmm. We'll come up with something. We'll come up with something. We're thinking. Go ahead and throw some gender reveal ideas in the comments below, guys. I expect this comment section to be loaded with Christmas emojis. <laughs> no pressure on me. Um, Christmas emojis and gender reveal ideas. Mm. It's all on you guys now. We're putting it on you guys. How? Oh, you know what would be really cool? What? The most voted gender reveal idea is the one that we do. Mmm. There may be means of which they were able to achieve their gender reveal that we might not have access to or be allowed to do. True. So it depends, but like if you guys come up with a consistent, eligible gender reveal idea, we'll do it. It's her channel. <laughs> He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Don't hold me to it. We'll it just see. depends. It depends. It depends on what you guys say. Again, if it's achievable for us and we can do it and we can access it, it's achievable, we'll do it. If it's like extreme and, you know, then no. Hmm. Like we're not gonna fly out of a plane and drop colored jet, jet dust. <laughs> I'd be open to that. 
<laughs> okay, have fun affording that one. How much would that cost? <laughs> Let's have a flyby on an airplane dropping the color that the oh, baby no, is. I just figured reveal. I could jump out the airplane and sprinkle some stuff as I was coming down. <laughs> You're not going to be able to sprinkle anything. And you coming out of a jet plane, nobody's going to be able to see what color those sprinkles are. Well, not a jet plane. Or a plane, you're going to be hundreds of feet up in the air. Well, probably more than hundreds. Yeah, see? Nobody's going to see your sprinkles, honey. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, guys, we're going to end this one here before it's really long. I don't know how long it is, but I think it's going to be a long one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below, and we will see you guys again in the next one. Bye! Bye! I gotta go check the chicken. Oh! <gasps>